Hello everyone. So by now you must have got the news of CET dates and you have hardly 10 days for it. So in this video, I'll talk about what the things that you should do in these few days. The agenda of this video is what you can do to perform well in the exam. What are the things that you should avoid? Some mock analysis idea and implementation of strategy based on it. I'll also discuss what are the mistakes that I did last year because of which I missed the cutoff of JP by few marks and some final tips. So these are the do's and don'ts that you can follow. Minimum solve 50 DI and LR set. If you can do more, then that will benefit you, but at least solve 50 sets. Along with it, solve 30 RCs go through all the formula and shortcuts that is available in quants. You can refer my video that I've made for CMAT quant revision. You can see the arithmetic and modern maths part of it, as these are the two predominant sections of CET quants. I'll put the link of that video in the description. Uh, solve 25 coding, decoding, and input-output set. And remember the pattern. It is possible that you may get similar thing in the exam. Also solve 30 syllogism, 40 critical reasoning question. You can brush up the abstract from all the mocks that you have given so far. Well, these are just the lower limit. If you can solve more, then that will benefit you. But at least if you're solving these things, you will get some good college that I can assure you. Now, what are the don'ts? Don't solve difficult mocks. It is a very high time and you should not lose your confidence by scoring less in difficult mocks. So ask in the group about which are the easy mocks available and only solve those mocks. One thing, your preparation days are over. This is just revision period. So solving difficult mocks will hamper your performance in the exam. You need to boost up your confidence. At the same time, don't be overconfident. If you have scored well in previous mocks, then that's a good sign for you. But you should not be overconfident as you never know when the tables will get turned. So be at your ground state and strive to do better. One more thing that you should not do is to look someone else's mock score. Just focus on your score and see how you can do it better. There will be many people who will fake their mock score and somehow this may tremble your confidence. So it's better to stay away from these things and look at your own score. So what are the things that you should analyze in mocks? Look out for the uh, marks fetcher. These are those questions in which you're confident that you can score well, irrespective of the LOD of the paper. So make a note of this question. You will solve this question in the paper with 100% accuracy. So be familiar with it. Look out for the marks drainer. These are those questions which you have, you have done mistakes in the box. Just make your brain aware of these questions. Either be very alert while solving this question in the paper or just keep it for the later part. The third type is the speed breakers. These are those questions which you take a lot of time, but you know you can do it correctly. So make a note of it. Such segregation will help you to navigate through the paper with much more ease. The fourth is the 50-50 dilemma. These are generally the critical reasoning questions in which you get stuck between two options. And aspirants tend to spend more time in these questions and eventually don't attempt it correctly. So it's better to train your brain to in such a way that you should not waste much time in such type of question and move ahead. Finally, the resource allocation. You should be very clear with how much time you're going to spend in each, part, each section also, you should be very clear about the order in which you're going to attempt a paper. Last year, I solved VRC first, then quants, then LI, and finally the abstract. L like this, you should be very much clear about your order of attempt. Now, the final implementation of strategy based on the analysis that you have done so far. After segmenting these questions from various mocks, you will get an idea of which are the questions that you are going to target, which are the questions that you are going to leave, and in which type of question you are you have to be vigilant. Have a test run of this strategy while giving a couple of mocks. You can give at least four mocks in this couple of few days. 
now i'll talk about what are the mistakes that i did last year because of which i did not clear jb cutoff as i told a little while ago about being confident over confident i was over confident last year i scored 156 in the last time mock that i gave and due to which i was above the ground and it eventually led to my downfall so make a note of it then don't be in a group of aspirants i was last year i was basically doing show off in a group and later i fumbled so stay away from people and try to concentrate on your performance even after the exam don't discuss the paper immediately go to your respective home and relax a bit uh, later you may discuss the paper after some introspection uh, thirdly before the exam while i was traveling the center i was listening music and making some memes last year during the ct exam there was corona go meme to, it was trending so i was making one of those memes and because of which i got distracted so don't do such things also don't listen any song or else that song will play in your head while giving the paper so don't avoid these things and finally i have not mentioned it in this slide don't be an emotional fool i know you might have some personal reason because of which you want to do well in the paper but at the same time you are because of those things those emotions you are going to face much pressure on yourself so keep your emotions aside and give your paper like a machine just think the just think of the exam as another mock be free just, but be alert and focused don't take much pressure relax a bit and do your best that's all i can recommend uh finally i hope that you have gained some insights by this video and do share this video with your friends so that they can also get benefited with it i wish you very good luck for the mba ct exam and i hope you get your dream b school thank you for watching this video